partial government shutdown, local national parks are getting ready to close their doors. 900 members of Nevada's Bureau of Land Management in Red Rock Canyon will be furloughed, leaving about three dozen emergency crews, including firefighters. And this shutdown is having big impacts to here in the valley as well. We know the national park system shut down. Yeah, so if you want to go out to Lake Mead, out at Red Rock, you're going to have some issues. At Lake Mead, we have about 170 employees who will begin furloughs today. Closing these national parks creates a huge hit to our bottom line. Thousands of people visit. We're going to feel some immediate effects this morning. Action News reporter Denise Wong is live near Red Rock Canyon. Denise, uh, people can't go hiking this morning. They cannot here at Red Rock because national recreation areas like Red Rock now shut down. But it's not just access to Red Rock. Lake Mead is also closed off to people who want to hang out there as well. You're planning a trip to visit a national park or recreation area. Here's where you're really going to feel the punch. Scratch those plans. The Lake Mead National Recreation Area, Red Rock National Conservation Area, and the Great Basin National Park here in Nevada all of them closed down. There will be no access to the lake on roads except on U.S. Highway 93. No camping, no hiking, no boating, no marinas. We have three large special events planned for this weekend. We have a swim meet that has about 400 people coming. Uh, we also have a fishing tournament and then just a fishing event for kids that draws about 200 kids out to the park. So even though crews with Lake Mead National Recreational Area did plan for this partial shutdown, they now have to play the waiting game to see what does occur in Washington over the next day or two.